Hello my angels, I'm back and I have a review for you. It's a perfume review from Chloe. So I received a free sample from Influencer and Chloe for an honest review. And if you know me, all I do is give honest reviews. You can't buy my reviews. So it's Chloe Atelier de Fours and the scent is Herba Mimosa. And I'm guessing if you get a sample, it's gonna come in a package like this, but mine didn't. Mine actually came in a bottle like this, which aesthetically is very interesting because it's different. I like the um, that whole round effect, right? I believe, I believe it's glass. But the thing that I didn't like about it is one, it's glass and it's round. So if you put it on the table um, or on a counter and then you move it or something hits it and it falls on the floor, it can crack and break. If I put this in my pocketbook with my keys and my phone, it could crack and break. Um, so I'm not a big fan of this. With the amount of liquid that's in here, I believe it's like a third of an ounce. Does it say here? 0.13 fluid ounces, sorry, four milliliters. I feel like they could have put this in a mini bottle that looks just like the perfume. And I think that would have been so cool, right? So I'm not a big fan of the bottle. It is beautiful aesthetically at first, but functionally, it's not ideal for me. Now, if there was a bunch of these, like let's say you had like a little cup, I don't know, a little cup, I'm looking to see, I don't have anything. And you could put all of your little perfume samples in there, they were all the same size, then maybe that would have been cute. And you know that nothing's gonna happen to it. But to lean this or to put this on a counter, I don't know, it's just not ideal for me and my lifestyle and the way that I live. And I have a cat, just being honest. So then <laughs> when I opened it up and I put it on at first, I was like, it smells like a man. And it did, it's, <laughs> it smelled like cologne. And I was like, I don't know if I like this at all because it smells like a man. Um, but then like 15 minutes later, I started smelling orange notes, kind of like a tuberose gardenia floral scent. Um, it started to open up and, and I, I liked it better. But the problem is, for me particularly, I my body chemistry does not work well with floral, clean, fresh scents. For some reason, my pheromones and my body chemistry, it just doesn't bring out those notes. So four hours later, you could barely smell it. I got no compliments. I always get compliments when I wear the perfumes that I wear, which is why I wear them, um, that I collect. But I got nothing, nada with this. You know, nothing. Nobody even noticed it. So mind you, it is a dab perfume. I put it on my wrists here and here. If it was a roll on, which I think is a good idea, um, I would have put it like everywhere. But with a dabbing perfume, I just want to be careful because God forbid this tips over, then you, you lose everything. Um, if it was a mini perfume, I wish they had little mini sprays. Um, but I feel like if I bought the whole bottle, which I wouldn't, just to be honest with you, I would never buy this perfume. It's just not my scent profile. I'm actually probably going to use this for a few more days, see if I like it, which I probably won't. And then throw this in my sister's stocking. <laughs> um, because this is her profile. My sister loves scents like Marc Jacobs Daisy, um, anything Marc Jacobs, J'adore, uh, all of these clean, fresh floral scents. And they, they smell so good on her. Where I'm more of like a Lolita Lempica, Pure Poison, um, Eli Sab, or Eli Sab, however anybody says it. All of the La Perla scents, all of them, they all smell so good on me. Um, YSL Libre is a bridge between the floral clean fresh scents and then the gourmand sweet vanilla musky scents. And I'm more of that profile. I do love the way that this smells after some time. Like if I did buy it, I would probably, oh, this is so bad to say, use it on my linens to like spray on the linen so that when you go to bed, you have that clean, fresh scent. But for $150 a bottle, I don't, or more, I don't know how much it's going to cost. Don't quote me on the price. I, I don't love it enough to buy it. Like, I'm sorry, uh, but it is perfect for you if you love those floral clean fresh scents you're gonna love it I mean you're gonna love it like I know my sister's gonna smell this and be like you didn't like it did you and I'm gonna be like no and she's gonna be like I love it <laughs> we're exact opposites with everything our food palette 
um, our alcoholic beverage palette, with perfumes, anything, even style, the way we dress, exact opposites. She's going to love this. Love this. For me, it's not for me. And four hours later, this wore off. Like, I can barely even smell it. Four hours. And I don't like that. I mean, if I'm going to spend a hundred and something dollars on a perfume, it better last all day, you know, and then start to wither off six to eight hours after I put it on. So I don't think the lasting power of this was enough for me, but I dabbed it on. If I had the spray, I would have sprayed it in my hair, on my clothes, on my skin, and then maybe just maybe it would have lasted longer. I would have had a different experience, but I don't have the luxury of that because I just have the dab, you know? And look, even now, look. I'm scared to, to rip it off. Okay. Oh, no, there's something. You know what it is? It smells like, like a garden. Um, but a garden of certain flowers. Like I, can't, I keep thinking white flowers. It's not gardenia. It's not. It's. It, I, I could say maybe subtly jasmine, but I love jasmine. But I think it's because it might smell like jasmine mixed with the the soap, like Dove or Ivory. Slightly, not a lot. Like you know, when you get out of the shower, you smell good, but you don't smell exactly like you did in the shower. It's very jasmine, tuberose, gardenia-ish. And I don't love it. But I love you guys. So thank you for watching. And definitely go and try to find some place where you could smell this live. Again, if you are one of these floral, clean scent people, you're going to love it. Love it. You're going to be like, oh my God, girl, thank you for recommending it, even though you didn't like it. I swear that's exactly what you're going to say. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for uh, watching my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, my loves, bye.